57, you got it? Yep. 80, 40? Yep. 80, 60? Yep. No air balls, man. Don't hit the mic stand. Today, we're at the Blizzard campus, and we're trying to figure out what makes the sound of asthma duck. This one may go shonk. Yeah. Rather than shing, this is probably the ball. When you say asmodan, and then you say sports, you arrive at a very interesting place. You have to think about it. What the hell, hell, would happen with Asmodan if he were, you know, if he were a basketball player? Those are the best. Yeah? yeah. It's really good on the 80-60. Do it, Sean. Dunk it. It's not just the sound of a ball hitting a backboard. You can tell that there's really a lot going on there. So you can hear the backboard vibrating, the little pieces of metal, and the tingy ring of the bar. And that's really what we're trying to get at when we're recording these sounds. When we saw Asmodunk, we were thinking, what's a larger-than-life way to capture a really big ball hitting the ground? What's a way that we can tie into the aesthetics that we've established for Asmodan as a character, but accentuate uh, the, what's really fun about Asmodunk? Things have to have character. You see how this kind of has like, it's got like that like winchy, almost like cry. This one's like, yeah, I want to perform. Performing the sounds in a certain way to make them larger than life is what makes simple objects such as a locker into a video game locker, and specifically a hero's locker. This is a brand new ball at the beginning of the week, and now it's already starting to melt. When you pitch some of this kind of stuff down, it does something really interesting and different. It actually is like quite a workout. Yeah. When you listen to that at the regular pitch, it's something that makes you uncomfortable. You know, so something at a, even like at a lower pitch would make you feel somewhat uncomfortable and would sound kind of evil. I think that there's a lot to be said when people can can sound out certain elements of something that they like. Like when you're talking about basketball, it's just like, oh, swish. When you think basketball, you think of that swish. That ingredient of getting something unique and fresh for something to make a swish sound is deceptively difficult. What do you think of having the microphones stereo image, but catch the uh, net? So the net's like in between here, and so we get both sides of the net. Oftentimes, we tell designers, if you can't figure out why this ability is going to work, or if this thing is about to be cut, talk to us first, you know? Because sometimes it's that it's that hidden element, it's the hidden hands that make it work, when people don't notice it because it's invisible. 